Watch Squad, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amber, aka Watch Amber. A hey, music's always playing in my head, okay? I got a good one today. We gonna talk about would you date somebody with herpes, okay? If you don't know who I am, my name is Amber. I'm a certified life coach. I'm the co-founder of Herpes Can Never. All the ways to get in contact with me are in the description box below. So holler at your girl via email. Come mess with me over on uh, Instagram. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, the link is below. And all herpes related resources are at our website, which is also in the description box below. Okay. But today we're going to be talking about would you date somebody with herpes? Because I hear it all the time. Hold on. Lips is popping. <laughs> I'm feeling real thought like with my nails, okay? Like I'm feeling a type of way. That's the benefit and the beauty of press-ons because I'll have these on today and I'll have these on tomorrow, okay? Like that's how it goes. I love my press-on nails. I'm claiming right now that one day I'm going to have like a sponsorship and people are going to make me custom press-ons, okay? Mark my words, okay? Okay, y'all, that was a tangent, but here we are. We're back because... I coached a couple clients this weekend and I heard more than once, I think from a male client and a female client both, that they would not be able to say that if it the shoe was on the other foot and somebody came to them and disclosed that they had herpes, that they don't know if they would be okay with it or not. So I was like, that's a great topic to bring over here to the watch squad because I'm just like, look, just because you might be closed-minded and judgmental, if the shoe fits, we're wearing it, okay? Um, doesn't mean that, A, everybody is. And also, you might be saying that out of a place of hurt, pain, and projection onto someone else. So I just wanted to come and break it down because, you know, before I got diagnosed, which I was diagnosed with HSV2 in 2018, before I was diagnosed, I had never had a person that I was dating or considering dating tell me that they had herpes, right? So I was never in a position where I had to choose whether I was going to talk to somebody with herpes or not. However, it's so crazy because once I got diagnosed and one of the, the first person I told, if you guys watch my videos, which so many of you guys do... <laughs> I'm so grateful for the watch squad, like dead ass. I'll start crying right now. Um, my twin sister, I have a twin sister and she said, um, you know, in just kind of supporting me and talking me off the ledge and the edge and all the other places my mind went when I got diagnosed, she was just like, Amber, remember so-and-so that I used to date? And I was like, yeah, she was like, he had herpes. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, he had herpes. He disclosed to me. And, you know, I went and I looked up some things. She confided in a few of her very best friends and um, which isn't me, <laughs> like my sister, my twin, like we're twins. So we like this, but we're not best friends. Like she has her own best friends. That's neither here nor there. But it's like she told she thought about it. She and she decided to move forward with him. Right. They moved forward. They engaged in sex. My sister got tested after they were no longer together and she did not, she did not contract herpes. So even if she did, you know, that was obviously a risk she was willing to take or um, a decision that she made and she decided to proceed. So it's not unheard of that a person who's herpes negative will like want to not talk to you or keep talking to you because you yourself have herpes. Like don't assume because you might not want to talk to somebody with herpes if you got the news that everybody's going to react that way and i feel like a part of the reason why you say you wouldn't is because how bad about yourself that you feel about having it and so i guess you just want to you wouldn't want to make anybody else feel as bad as you feel about it so instead of projecting that's how everyone's going to feel about it onto a stranger you haven't met yet or maybe somebody you do kind of know that you like and you're like oh my god if i tell them they're gonna look at me differently like Give that person an opportunity to respond however they, you know, however they decide to respond. Don't assume that they're going to have this negative reaction. And also don't assume that a person will not want to deal with you because you have herpes. Because let me just tell you this now. I say it sometimes, but it's it doesn't... Herpes is not stopping people from being interested in you. Yes, it will run away the few that are literally there for maybe physical contact and... If that's all they wanted and say maybe that's all you wanted too, then you just gonna have to find or another person will come around who's okay with just being physical with you and does not care about your herpes positive status, right? Like not everyone is going to care about the fact that you have herpes. 
Um, and you just, I just wanted to talk about that, right? So it's like, would you date somebody with herpes? Yes or no? You can answer in the comments if you want. You can answer out loud wherever you are. You can just say your, you know, answer in your head, like whatever you want to do, because it's just like, and then once you have the answer, yes or no, my next question, if anybody who knows me in real life knows I'd be asking a lot of questions, but my next question is why, you know, why yes, or, you know, why no, what, why, what is the why behind your answer? Because I think that's the most important part is the why. And if the only reason you wouldn't date somebody with herpes is because you, you wouldn't want them to feel sad about it. You also have to realize that there is going to be a difference in how someone feels about getting diagnosed with herpes when they were made aware that that is a possibility in dealing with the person, right? So most of us found out about the fact that we had herpes from the doctor after the fact when we were never given the information prior to we were never we were never required the information prior to we never really asked for the most part about somebody's sexual health and history right messed around messed around messed around with whoever we messed around with and then we got diagnosed so it's like it's kind of traumatizing to get diagnosed with something that is out of the blue like completely unexpected just you know just completely unexpected but if you're talking to someone or potentially going to talk to someone and you make them aware of your status also while finding out their status as well right let me let me say that so when you're talking to somebody about your herpes it's not just a one-sided conversation like oh my god i gotta i gotta disclose to you this big bad secret like i gotta tell you this shameful thing that makes me like a leper and it just i gotta tell you this secret it's in the darkness it's like no before we have sex, I want to talk about it anyway. I want to talk about, have you been tested? When's the last time you've been tested? Have you ever had an STD? Do you have one now? These are questions that I want to know as a person with herpes. And so you should want to know these things, right? So in that conversation that you're having, that's when you're going to bring up that you have herpes. You tested positive. And if you want to go into the situation where you got it or things like that, that's your business, right? But it's like when you're having a dialogue with someone and someone hears you, you hear them and they're like, okay, you know, X, Y, and Z, or eventually or immediately they decide to continue to keep talking to you down the line happens and y'all have sex. If that person, that still doesn't mean automatically that they're going to contract it if y'all engage in sex. But if they so happen to, they are probably going to take it a little bit differently than you took it when you found out cold turkey, no warning, no conversation. And so when we project onto people that they're going to have this negative reaction or they're going to feel some type of way or be, you know, scared, sad, weirded out, grossed out, all the honest things we felt about ourselves when we got diagnosed, that's unfair. And so I just want to make you aware of the fact that, hey, there are other perspectives around this, right? There are other, there are plenty of educated people or people who are waiting to be educated by somebody who actually has the virus to say, you know, look, I do have this. This is what it is. This is what it's not you know, where are we going from here type energy type conversation. So it's just like as a person, if you're watching this, who I have a lot of people who DM me or who message me, who email me, who's like, hey, I really like this person. They have herpes and I'm kind of like on the fence about how to move around, like move forward with it. I like them. I'm interested in them, but I just don't know. And unfortunately, a lot of times people with herpes, when they're telling other people they have it, they're still very much insecure or self-conscious or feel the type of way about themselves for having it. So they're probably not the best place of the best resource to get information and get understanding, which I would recommend, you know, you educate yourself and encourage yourself and support yourself and get into a place of confidence and security in yourself to where it's like, look, it's not the end of the world. They're like, it's just not. This is a part of who I am. Oh, but look at all these other amazing parts. And then kind of start, look at some other parts I'm working on too, right? This just makes, this is a part of who makes, this is a part of what makes me up to be who I am. Like if you approach your herpes diagnosis like that, you're going to put it kind of in perspective and in the place it really belongs, right? For most of us, we carry it on our backs like this big, bad, heavy backpack that we can never take off when that's just not really accurate and so i encourage you to view change the way you view your herpes because it's going to change the way you think that others view it and that's important right so if you're watching this and you're considering dating somebody with herpes like look herpes is 
if it's not the least harmful STD, it's one of the least harmful STDs. It's a virus. A majority of the herpes positive population do not ever even have outbreaks. And the population that does have outbreaks, um, they're not what you see on the internet or on TV. And the jokes that are made about people with herpes is done in pure ignorance and for entertainment. And a lot of that is not really funny, but this is what the world is, right? We make fun of other people for things that are different than us. And like, that's just, ignorant but it's accurate and so don't get caught up in the ignorance don't let your ignorance or the ignorance of strangers have you missed out on your blessing have you missed out on uh your good thing i had a person who messaged me it's like yeah there was this girl i like she had herpes and i wasn't mature enough to deal with it and i let her get away but i really liked her and i'm just like you know the life happens you know sometimes you might not be able to get get that one back so don't miss out or don't do yourself a disservice by not dealing with someone solely because they have herpes. Now, if you're not looking to settle down or you just knew it was going to be a fling anyway, or you was just in it to get it and get the draws and keep it moving, then okay, that's your prerogative. We all have, we all have our own ability to make our choices, but don't let the, your somebody's herpes diagnosis be the sole reason why you don't talk to them or deal with them because I mean, it's just not wise in my opinion. And if you do have herpes, don't look at your diagnosis like, why would somebody want to date me? Why would somebody want to deal with me because I have this? Come on now. Okay, come on now. Hello, hello. What we're not going to do is that. What we're not going to do is think our value, or our worth, or the, our our value is altered because we, are, we have herpes. Like, we started a movement called Herpes Could Never because... I wanted to remind you and help you understand that herpes can never stop anything that's meant for you, that is yours. What is yours is already yours. And a person who truly wants to be with you will not care about your herpes status. And if you really want to be with somebody, you're not going to care about theirs. So you could say, oh, I probably wouldn't deal with somebody who had herpes. You could say that now, or you could have maybe said that assumption about your old self with all the nails and assumption because you're not that person. But you can't accurately describe if someone is like giving you everything baby someone's checking off all your little boxes somebody is making you feel the way you need to feel about the way you need to feel about it you're not going to be with them because they have herpes really i mean i don't believe it but you can tell that's somebody else but i mean if and if that is the case then that's probably some work you need to do on yourself so let me stop there because i want to step on nobody else's toes but i just thought this was a good video to make because so many times people talk to me about it and i'm like yeah it's a good topic to bring up because here we are okay out in these dating streets so if you're not subscribed to my channel, will you please take the time to, to subscribe? And if you are a subscriber, okay, I want you to drop a thumbs up in the chat to let me know that you rocking with the gang, that you are officially part of the watch squad. So take time to subscribe, take time to turn your notifications on because my goal for 2022 was 100,000 subscribers and I will reach that and you're going to be a part of it. And so I just want to thank you and say I appreciate y'all. And until next time, watch squad, peace.